Welcome back to Channel 808.tv. Uh, again, in the house we have Laurie Okami, fitness expert, international bodybuilder, and weightlifter. Um, before we get started, we want to send a shout out to one of our viewers in California, Ernsan. Yay! Ernsan. Okay, we don't have studio effects yet. <laughs> Also, uh, we wanna we wanna say a hello to our Aflac provider. What's up, Cody? April first, baby. And we also wanna wish one of our partners good luck tonight as she's a presenter at. Uh, okay, here we go. Where, where is she? Social, social social wahinis. Social Melissa Chang, also Melissa eight hundred eight on Twitter. Okay, before we get started, Laurie, we wanna make sure that people follow along. Uh, you're on Twitter. Yes. Be strong. Letter B. Strong. Live long. And your websites? LifeFitNet.com. Okay, that's LifeFitNet.com. Life, life now, we, we went through a little bit of a fitness. And again, folks, we're, we're going to be having this as a, a recurring segment where we're going to touch on fitness. We're not going to overwhelm you for those of you who are still kind of on the, on the cusp of engaging a, a healthy lifestyle. But just a little dosage and a preview of how you can incorporate fitness into your daily routine. Um, we had Laurie graciously prepare for us some, some healthy, would you say this is healthy eating or? Yeah, this is what I've been eating this week. <laughs> it's a, a chicken wrap. So I just have shredded chicken, mustard, there's uh, lettuce, carrots, olives, and I have some peppers in there just for a little spice. We'll have Motto Paul come out with the chicken wrap. That's my, <laughs> that was my lunch. It's tasty. Yeah, it actually, um, for healthy food, it actually smells good. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes good and it's filling. And everything, everything looks good. Looks like we got uh, steam, is that steamed vegetables? Yeah, steamed vegetables and, um, and that's all fresh. Carrots, broccoli, cauliflower. I have some onions and garlic in there. And this is about, about three ounces of salmon that I just I grilled. Salt, just light salt and pepper, baked potato. You know, I don't have a lot of time, so I microwave <laughs> the potato. Secret is keep it wrapped up in the paper towel, wrap it up in foil, and if you put it away, it, it keeps a lot of its flavor. Mm. Does your whole family eat? Your your whole family eats like this, or just just a fitness consultant? <laughs> no, my kids eat this too. Um, although they might not eat it as often as I do, because for example, tonight I cooked them some bacon because <laughs> they were bacon. craving that. Yeah, but I didn't get to have it. I had some veggie sausage. No one, no one can come to your house and eat like this. Yeah, he loves um, salmon. He'll eat all the vegetables and then. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll love the wraps. Oh, ah, yeah. send them over. See, my, yeah, my kids, they, they eat this. Not that they don't eat junk food. They like their junk food sometimes. They just don't do too much of it. Now, this, this all looks low in carbs, um, low in fat. So how do, how do we hold ourselves during the day? You know, I actually, this is only maybe even half a serving. So you could eat more than this. I fill up so much on the good foods that I don't get too hungry during the day. If I snack, I snack on things like this. This is a soy blend. It has no sodium. It has a little cranberry, so it has that little, it satisfies the crunch and the sweetness. So just be careful. Some of the trail mixes out there have a lot of sweetened fruit in it. Um, and what about fresh mind. fruit? Uh, do fresh fruits raise that concern about your, your glycemic level? Well, it, it has sugar, so the, if you're a diabetic, you you know you don't want to go to get carried away having a lot of fruit. But fruit still is better. I'm I'm trying to get people to just switch, you know, instead of having a lot of the sweets. And we're hooked on sweets. I mean, as a society, we're we're so hooked on sweets. We add sugar to everything. You know, you get oatmeal, and there's about at least four teaspoons of sugar in a serving of oatmeal. Yeah, you know, in the the packaged ones. Go plain and just slice up a banana instead, or slice up an apple. Okay, we're gonna we're waiting for for a little bit more questions come in to stump Paul. So, 
Before we get started with... Is this our first stump poll? Okay, well, I have a stump poll here. How... How are sugars different in fruits as opposed to processed sugar? Does this count or? Does it count? I can get any CD I want, so actually I'm just trying to set you up right now. Okay, I'm just kind of going to make this up, but speak um, confidently so that people think I know what I'm talking about. Okay, because Polly is a nutritional expert as well. <laughs> I don't know, Lori would know better, but it's basically there's different types of sugar, right? Glucose. I need it! <laughs> You also made up the I'm the best man. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay, we have a we have a stump Paul question. Why don't you read away? All right. So stump Paul, who was the first well-known recording person to buy your ukulele? At okay, so I guess this is from Fun Hot Hawaii Guy. Um, that would be Daniel Ho, as far as I know. Um. Uh, how are we going to check if Paul was right or not? <laughs> um, Paul determines that he is correct. You lose. <laughs> Actually, I think, I think you were wrong. Congratulations, fun Hawaii guy. Um, Daniel Ho actually didn't buy a single ukulele from us. Yeah, he's, he's, he's sponsored by us, man. So who was it then? Like, like, have, like where, you, where you been working for the past 15 years? Hey, fun First, hug I want. You know, I, I think this this stumps me. It, it stumps you. Well, I mean, what, 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 do you, what defines well-known and recording? <laughs> All right. You get, congratulations. You get, you get fun. See you win. This, this is the winning question, folks. So, fun hi guy. Congratulations. Um, you know, this, is, this is a little shame because if it was a question about the sugars or the speed of light, you know, sure. But this is about our ukulele. <laughs> How do you expect us to know? What do you expect? How do you, we're not going to know everything about what we do. <laughs> All right, fun guy, hi. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, send me a DM and I'll give you your choice between any one of these three CDs. We have Herb Otto Jr. Ukulele Breeze. We have Daniel Ho Polani and Manoa DNA, No Place Like Home. Um, give me a hit up on Twitter. And we're going to close tonight's segment. I want to thank the guest, um, Ken Yuen at, from Hawaii Mini. Wait, I forgot the name. <laughs> Bayview <laughs> Mini Putt. And uh, also my cousin Laurie from uh, Live Long, Be Strong. Be, Be, Be Strong. strong. <laughs> <laughs> it's our first show, and give me Twitter, a break. And Twitter with a B, the letter B, B strong, strong. Live long. and lifefitnet.com. Lifefitnet is the website and my blog because that's where I'm featuring our Shape Up for Summer. Oh, that's right. Your Shape yeah. Up for Summer. Well, you gotta, for summer, you gotta follow along. You gotta tune in next week, follow on Twitter, and uh, we've got a lot more fun coming on this show. We wanna thank the guys for, for joining us on such short notice. I let them know today that we we're <laughs> filming. And um, thank you for tuning in. Aloha. <laughs> <laughs>